The best gaming PCs are capable of handling the most resource-demanding and graphically intensive video games in the best and most elegant form factor possible. Though these machines are great at what they provide, they often come with the highest price tags in the PC market. Lofty prices aside, owning a powerful gaming PC pays off in several ways. In addition to experiencing games at blazing fast frame rates and ultra-high resolution, these premium price computers can also handle graphic design, animation, streaming movies in 4K on your TV, or simply get work done. We have listed the top 5 gaming PCs and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all the products with the best prices mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, guidinggear.com. Number 5. CyberPower PC Gamer Extreme The CyberPower Gamer Extreme is a great PC to rock the current generation of games and do it all as one of the best gaming PCs under $1000 too. Even beyond that and branching into the increasingly large world of VR, this machine will get you there on a shoestring. It's VR ready right out of the box and will be easy to upgrade when newer, more fancy headsets become more available. The Extreme is also great for anyone looking for a PC to match the capabilities of consoles and something that will complement a PS4, Xbox One, or PS5 and Xbox Series X setup. And the Gamer Extreme is also modular and upgradable enough to allow you to quickly adapt the specs for when you need to allow for solid upgradability and future-proofness. Again, all without breaking the bank. Number 4. Acer Pressure Orion 7000 the Acer Pressure Orion 7000 is our one of the best picks for the best gaming PC you can buy for its thoughtful design, PCI 5.0 compatibility, and powerful hardware that's sure to be future-proofed for many years to come. In our testing, we found that there was nothing we could throw at this machine that it couldn't handle, including frame rates in the 100 plus FPS range in a whole suite of demanding titles in 4K and even higher in the likes of 1440p. This gaming PC has been thoughtfully re-engineered to replace the old plastic panels of the previous model instead opting for an all-glass and metal finish. Perhaps most important with the Acer Pressure Orion 7000 is how its design philosophy mimics that of a traditional home-built PC without any proprietary manufactured pieces inhibiting tinkering, meaning it's easy to upgrade in the future. The bump up to DDR5 is a surefire noticeable one if you're coming from a machine running a similar frequency DDR4. We had a dual channel 4000MHz kit inside our machine and found the difference to be light and day, made especially snappy by lightning fast though admittedly hot Intel Core i9-12900K. Whether you want lengthy gaming sessions or lightning fast response times in your productivity task, the Acer Pressure Orion 7000 is easily the most feature-rich and most capable gaming PC on the market right now. By minimizing the bloatware and being far more consumer-friendly than some other gaming PCs you can get your hands on, we recommend this model to anyone wanting the best of the best in 2023. Number 3. HP Omen 30L If you're not out to build your own PC but still want a powerful desktop for some next-gen gaming, Check out HP's Omen 30L line. Custom built inside a slick Omen chassis, they offer solid hardware with plenty of customization options and the potential for easy future upgrades. The HP Omen 30L we reviewed comes with some slick, understated RGB lighting, as well as a 10th gen Intel processor and RDX 2080 Super GPU. This version costs $1,999, but pricier models are available with the RDX 3000 series cards. The case has two tempered glass panels to showcase your system with easy access for adjustments and excellent ventilation to prevent overheating. While the interior isn't the tidiest we've seen among the best gaming PCs, the performance speaks for itself. The RDX 2080 Super GPU is still a beast at 1440p and respectable in 4K too, with this liquid cool processor never getting too hot even playing the most demanding titles. HP has proven that it's taking pre-built machines seriously, so the Omen 30L gets a thumbs up from us. Number 2. Alienware Aurora R10 Horizon Edition the Aurora Ryzen Edition R10 delivers the Zen 3-powered AMD Ryzen 5000 series CPUs and either NVIDIA's high-performance RDX 30 series or AMD's RX 6000 series graphics card. This is one of the few places you might be able to find an AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT2. The Red Team GPU is actually capable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with NVIDIA's GeForce RDX 3080. The latest AMD Ryzen processors are exemplary in terms of both performance and price. The Ryzen 9 5900X stands out as a spectacular chip not just for productivity but also for gaming. That 12-core 24-thread CPU shows just how far AMD has managed to push its smart chiplet-based Zen 3 architecture in order to deliver an affordable, seriously high-core count processor for a gaming PC. And where old AMD chips couldn't keep pace with Intel when it comes to gaming, the current Ryzen range absolutely can especially when paired with one of the latest AMD or NVIDIA's graphics card. There are currently 11 different configurations on offer. Though you can dig in and customize before you buy if you prefer a different CPU or GPU or more SSD capacity. The selection starts with the GDX 1660 Super and a 6-core RX 5600X, going all the way up to the mighty GeForce RDX 3090 and the monstrous 16-core 32-thread Ryzen 9 5950X. 
You should definitely take a look at the configuration options because the lowest spec option only comes with a single stick of DDR4 memory, which will have the available bandwidth compared to running a pair of them, even at the same capacity. That's expensive however and there aren't options to say either have one 8GB stick or two 4GB sticks. Take a look at the SSD on offer too. Something with a 256GB SSD is not going to get you much change out of having Windows 11 and Forza Horizon 5 installed at the same time. Alienware is offering both the dark and light chassis options for the current lineup. And however you feel about the design, it does certainly make for a striking machine. The Aurora cases are not necessarily the easiest to upgrade due to their bespoke design. They're awkward to dig into if you want to start upgrading yourself, and you will soon see why they don't offer tempered glass side panels yet once you look inside. Number 1. Alienware Aurora R13 while the extraterrestrial styling may not appeal to everyone, the performance of Alienware's Aurora R13 gaming PCs remains undeniable. The latest Aurora R13 uses a new design compared with its Aurora forebears, and gives the Intel 12th gen processors with NVIDIA's RDX 30 series GPUs a home in Alienware's new chassis. With a window no less, like the Aurora R10 Ryzen Edition, Alienware offers a choice of both NVIDIA and AMD graphics card. But you have to dig into the customization options if you want to pick from either the Radeon RX 1600 XT or RX 6900 XT cards. Alienware also offers a discrete configuration on its side. From low-end gaming rigs supporting GDX 1650 Super and Core i5-12400F, all the way up to RTX 3090 gaming monsters. That gives you a range of Alienware gaming machines from reasonably affordable 1080p gaming right up to blistering 4K vertical smashing performance, and the Alienware AIO cooling system will help you keep the cozy interior of the case at a reasonable temperature too. While the actual configs Alienware offers are great starting points, as with the Ryzen Edition, it's absolutely worth digging around in the customization options when it comes to picking the right rig for you. Our favorite setup, boasting the Core i7-12700F and the RTX 3060 Ti GPU, only comes with a 512GB SSD, but is thankfully sold with dual-channel DDR5 memory as opposed to single sticks it has been guilty of in the past. The memory issue is something you had to be aware of when buying Alienware products. Previously, you'd have to go into configuration options to select dual-channel memory options. This would then double your bandwidth memory, and it was a bit off when its machines were otherwise sold with a weaker solitary stick. We played with the RTX 3090 version of the latest gen Aurora R10 sans liquid cool GPU, and in gaming terms, you're not going to get a lot higher frame rates than you would with the RTX 3080 build. That's not a massive surprise given our testing of the RTX 3090 at launch. It only makes sense if you need that 24GB frame buffer for creative work. Let us know in the comments which model works for you the best and why. Thank you for watching the video and that is all for this one. If you find this video helpful in any way, give a huge thumbs up, stay tuned for the upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you in the next video, till next time, see you guys later.